Hi everybody, you want to demonstrate the multiplier effect. How do you do that on a diagram? How do you construct it? Well, this is a Keynesian theory, also known as the Keynesian multiplier. So it makes sense to draw the Keynesian LRAS curve here to show this. We need to therefore draw and label price level on the y-axis and real GDP on the x-axis. Next, draw your Keynesian LRAS like that and label your full employment level of output as such. What you want to show now is your aggregate demand initially, call it AD1, with equilibrium at Y1 and P1. You want to show an initial shift of aggregate demand, so there is an initial increase in spending, which takes the economy from Y1 to Y2, with a tiny, tiny, tiny increase in the price level from P1 to P2. But your multiplier is the extra increase in growth that comes from this initial increase in spending. So aggregate demand doesn't just stop at 82, it keeps going to 83, with a higher price level of P3 and an even higher level of actual growth to Y3. And what I would say is I would say, look, that shift there is the multiplier effect. So I would label that as multiplier effect that second shift from 82 to 83. So maybe your question is showing, um, is saying that there is an increase in government spending and you have to show the multiplier effect of that increase in government spending. You would say, well, the initial increase in spending, so the government spending, increases AD from 81 to 82, but because of the multiplier effect, AD settles actually at 83. So that second shift is as a result of the multiplier effect. That's how you draw it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.